Uh, all right, I would just like to start off by saying thank you to the nice people at Martin's for putting together a terrific dinner tonight. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. All right, uh, my name is James Harvey Murph, and obviously I'm gonna talk about my father tonight. Uh, like my middle name, I received many great traits from him. Uh, unfortunately, I also got his looks and inability to spell. Uh, I'm neither a writer nor an orator, so I'll have to try my best to truly express my gratitude and my good fortunes in having him as a father. Um, but unfortunately, I will not be able to fully encompass uh, who my father is in this short speech. Uh, I knew I had to talk about my dad tonight when about two weeks ago he came home from work and told us that he had officially ended his 1,125 day streak of being on call. Um, so for those of you that don't know, that basically means that for 1,125 nights, doctors, nurses, and patients could call my father and ask him whatever question they want to ask him. Uh, so to put that in perspective, that was in February 3rd, 2018, was when he started uh, being on call. So uh, seniors, we were not even, most of us weren't even allowed to drive without a parent in the car at the time, to put that into perspective, so that's pretty wild. Um, but one thing that makes my dad unique is his interest in being a part of my life. My father was not a Cub Scout or a Boy Scout, but in second grade, when I came home and told him I wanted to join the Cub Scouts at Percy Priest, he immediately started uh, learning as much about it, the Scouts as possible. Uh, Harvey went on every single camp out with me, and uh, at the time, I didn't realize how much that actually meant for him, because he would have to take time off work, plan what we would eat, buy the food, pack the bags, and drive out to the middle of nowhere. Because, I mean, all I thought we would do is just show up somewhere on a Saturday morning with a tent. Um, after two years of helping out, my father, who's only tied to scouting was me, decided to become the pack leader. So now, on top of everything else he was already doing, he would have to plan a meeting and lead the meeting. Now, this new responsibility entailed keeping 15 elementary and middle school kids occupied for about an hour on Saturday. So that sounds pretty, you know, hard thing to do. Um, so this alone would make me proud to be his son, but he did much more. During the summer of 2016, my troop decided to go to Boundary Waters, which is a seven day long canoe trip uh, across the US-Canadian border. Uh, however, the lakes we canoed on were divided by land, so we would have to, the only way to get to the next lake was we would have to do portages. So after canoeing for most of the day, we would have to take all of our gear out of the canoes, take the canoes, walk them all the way across the stretch of land with our gear, put them back in the water, and keep canoeing. Now, my dad is 5'9 and buck 40, so seeing him carry a 75 pound canoe and gear and not complaining about this over terrible, terrible terrain, I, I don't know uh, how he did it. But uh, he still managed to do it all with a smile which is very impressive to me. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to smile at when I'm getting uh, tested, but I really hope I will be able to. So without a second thought, my, my dad decided to learn all about Cub Scouts, take so much of his time, just because just second grade James wanted to learn how to use a knife. Uh, I'm also on the crew team here at NBA, and like most of my peers and probably most everyone in this room, uh, crew isn't the most well-known sport, so not everyone knows how, to, how it works. But the second I joined the crew team, my dad made it his mission to ask me way too many questions about how, how the sport functioned. Because rowing isn't that, isn't that popular of a sport in Tennessee, it meant, it meant so much to have someone constantly asking these questions that I never would answer normally. Harvey would drive down to Chattanooga um, just to watch you know, a fraction of one or two races I was in, and usually I would lose, but you know what, that's all right, because it's almost as if I won every time he would talk to me after those races. 
so I hit, I hit the absolute jackpot with Harvey being my dad. Uh, I've already decided I'm not going to gamble anymore because I've used up all my luck um, with him. So if anyone, if anyone here can look in the mirror and genuinely say that I am half the man Harvey is, I'd be willing to say you're a great man. So, uh, Dad, thank you for supporting my whims, uh, picking me up when I fall, teaching me to reach for my best. And uh, no matter what happens, I love you, and I will always love you, and uh, thank you.